Charlie, I've missed you. Oh, I missed you too. I don't want any man to come between us, not Sonny or not Dante, ever. I feel the same way. But, um... I'm here to ask you to talk to Dante about his testimony. Not to lie on the stand to save Sonny. I already pitched that and I was shot down in flames. But, um, look, if, if, if Dante can show the slightest bit of sympathy for Sonny, it can make a huge impact with the jury. Dante needs to figure that out. Could you talk to him? Please. The police think that Michael witnessed something and they want him to testify against Sonny on the stand. We both know that Michael can't handle that kind of pressure, Lulu. I understand how you feel about Sonny. This isn't about Sonny, this is about Michael, so can you please talk to Dante? I feel awful because you didn't call me out for keeping Dante's secret. And now you need my help, but I can't. Carly, I'm sorry. I had to ask. I realize for you it's different, but I truly believe that Sonny belongs in prison. I hate him for shooting Dante. And I would feel the same way about someone who shot the man I love. I understand. But I need to give you some advice. Don't let Dante see how much you hate Sonny. I've had a lot of experience with Sonny. And <laughs> he can be irresistible. And it may take a long time, but he will wear Dante down. I hope you're wrong. You know, it's a special gift that Sonny has. When Sonny loves you, you just want to love him back. And as badly as he wants Dante to be his son, there's a part of Dante who wants Sonny to be his father. Eventually, those two are going to connect. You going after Michael 